Well hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and today I have a homeschool haul for you. I'm also teaming up with a few of my friends here on YouTube. Uh, Deanna from Taming the Frizz, Julie from Mama to Five, and also Julie from A Beautiful Horizon. And we're all sharing with you some things that we've picked up for back to homeschooling. So, I love watching these kind of videos, especially like right around this time when we're like all getting in the mode of back to homeschool. Like, I could binge these videos like crazy. So I'm excited to be putting um, this one together for you today. Check the description box below. I will have a link to their videos. Um, and I'll also have a link to last year's uh, video where I showed you all the homeschool stuff that I bought. It's a really huge haul. Um, but yeah, so there's going to be lots of goodness down in the description box. So anyways, we've got a lot of stuff to cover, so let's get into it. Um, first of all, this I actually picked up this year for this year's school, um, but it, we just bought it a few months ago because it's a new, fairly new product, but I wanted to share it in this haul because I know as homeschool moms, we're always looking for really great tips and resources that really work, and so I wanted to share it with you. It is the musical multiplication set from The Good and the Beautiful. My daughter is in the very first level of teaching textbooks and um, as part of teaching textbooks they were doing multiplication. So she's at that age where she's learning multiplication and it was a bit of a struggle. She wasn't getting how they were teaching her the multiplication. Um, and we love the good and the beautiful curriculum and when I saw that they came out with musical multiplication, I picked it up for her. This is I think $24. and she learned her multiplication tables like that. I'm talking within days because these are set to songs. You get um, these little booklets and you also get downloads of the songs. So she can just stick her headphones on and listen to the songs and sing them. And even my son, who's five, started learning his multiplication tables because he heard his sister singing the songs so much. So it just goes through um, each of the multiplication tables. There's a few that they don't do, like zeros and ones um, and twos, because those are like super simple. Um, and don't need like a whole lot of memorization to them um, and then there's like a quiz kind of thing in the back where you can um, quiz yourself when I do the quiz for Aubrey I do always kind of mix it up so I'll flip around so that she's I know she's memorizing the songs and I don't want her to just be stuck in that mode of this is what comes after this multiplication table. So we mix it up. Um, but anyways, great resource. You can find it on thegoodandthebeautiful.com. So we did get a few little schooly type things. Um, I got these really cute scissors at the dollar store. They're Fiskars brand and they look like ice cream cones and they're super fun. Um, when it comes to back to school, I like to have... Uh, my kiddos have backpacks because... You know, as homeschool moms, we're not always stuck in our homes. Um, and so they each have a backpack. Last year, it was my son's first year. So I got him a brand new backpack, and I put all of their supplies inside the backpack. And then they get to open it up on the first day of school and see all their fun new stuff. So those are some of the things that I haven't yet got, but these are one of the things that will go in the backpack. So my little guy is, he's doing pre-K this year. Um, and he was really great with his numbers, shapes, colors all those things like really good but when it came to his letter recognition he's still struggling um, and so this we're working on it throughout the summer but we're gonna really concentrate it when we get back into our school studies so um, I am looking for all kinds of like alphabet aids so I was at the dollar store um, Dollarama here in Canada um, a few weeks ago and I found this letter set so it's a wooden letter set um, and there are 162 pieces in here. So I thought this would be great for my son but also for my daughter as she does things like her spelling words or um, as we're learning a new word um, we can spell it out with these and just make learning a little bit more interesting. She is a kinesthetic learner. She loves to do things with her hands um, and so I think those would be fun for both my kiddos. And while I was there I also picked up these wooden numbers. 
So again, we can use these for math facts, we can use them for um, telling time, we can use them for all kinds of different things. So um, I'm excited about those. Because I think that sometimes you can find those things like on Etsy and they're like handmade and they're super wonderful, but they're also really expensive. I found mine at the Dollar Dollarama for just a couple bucks. Okay, so next, I'm gonna be honest guys, I've got a ton of books to share with you. It is like a book year and um, I've got loads of books. So uh, that is kind of the next part of this haul. So buckle up, we're gonna dive into some books. So first of all, I went and picked up a couple of these um, Thornton Burgess books from Amazon. My mother-in-law actually, she collects books, like a lot of old children's books, and she actually has some of these at her house that we can use um, for our school, but uh, in my Amazon cart right now, I have several more volumes of these little books um, for my kiddos to read. I think they're going to love them. They love animals and animal stories, so we have The Adventures of Jimmy Skunk. The Adventures of Patty the Beaver, which my son's favorite animal, one of them is a beaver. And The Adventures of Reddy Fox. So there are all kinds of these books on Amazon, loads of them. And they're like, Amazon Canada, they're between like three and four dollars. There are a couple that are five, and there's a couple that are under like um, four dollars, like three ninety one kind of thing. <laughs> um, all those pennies add up, or lack of pennies add up you know what I mean right okay um so Costco is a really great place to find books every time we go which is all the time we always check out the books and the resources that they have there because they have some amazing things for homeschoolers and we have I've picked up a few Costco books along the way and I will also tell you that I have found that I can get books at Costco cheaper than I can get the actual title just down the plaza where our actual bookstore is it's kind of like Barnes Noble it's called chapters here in Canada kind of the same thing um I can find both books and chapters always lists sort of like the Canadian retail price and Costco is significantly cheaper so I will always look at Costco first for books before I actually pay retail um, if I can't find it thrifted so here are a couple of the books that we got um, I got this Usborne book and it is um, a lift and flat book and it's questions and answers about your body. So we are going to be doing a big body unit this upcoming year. My daughter really wants to be a doctor and so we're going to spend a lot of time digging into the human body. Digging. That sounds weird. <laughs> But we're going to have a big unit for the human body, and so I am trying to find all kinds of resources. My son is obsessed with dinosaurs, and so I got him another one of these Usborne books, Lift and Flap, um, questions and answers about dinosaurs. So he's actually already looked at this, um, but this will be fun for him. Okay. So then... Another Costco find was this book from Joanna Gaines, We Are the Gardeners. And this book is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Last year, we started our own garden, and it was so fun. Um, we've continued on this year with it, and we have just loved it. Um, I can send my daughter out into the garden just today. I sent her out and I said, can you pick me some lettuce for my salad for lunch? And she did, and um, we, she was looking to see if our strawberries were coming up, and um, we just, we really have enjoyed putting a garden together. So we're going to kind of go through um, this book by Joanna Gaines, We Are the Gardeners. If you're a homeschooler, you likely love Little House on the Prairie. And I found this book for $6 at Winners here in Canada. And Winners is the same thing as TJ Maxx in the States. Um, they're both owned by the same company. 
or just named something different. So you may be able, I know you'll be able to find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something because I actually saw a woman online who's a homeschooler and um, she found this book there for very similar price at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those. Um, anyways, this is the world of Little House and inside this book, it is so cool. I had to make sure that it was different than the actual Little House books. We have all of them. Um, and I wanted to make sure I wasn't actually just double buying something and it's not. So inside are crafts, there are recipes, there are stories, and it's all based on the little house. And um, there's drawings of what, you know, they're, um, this is Laura and Almanzo's first house, um, how to make hailstone ice cream. There's all kinds of awesome things. And we started reading Little House, uh, was it last year or the year before? We haven't finished the series. We kind of do a book, one of the Little House books, and then we read something else and then something else and then we'll go back to Little House. So we're due to head back into a Little House book. So this is going to kind of be our companion guide with it if we find, um, you know, pertinent like maps of or drawings of their houses and recipes and things like that this will be kind of our companion guide so if you find this book it's really great the world of little house i picked up a few books from the good and the beautiful so my daughter loves to read she's eight years old and she is a ferocious 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 reader uh just like her mama was <laughs> so i'm always on the lookout for good books for her and the Good and the Beautiful has come out with a book list um, called like Good and Beautiful Books and they're really quality, like high quality, high caliber books. Um, they have very strict standards on what they put into their, like the books that they recommend uh, on their book list. You can find that for free on their website. And they recently started publishing some of their own books, um, not books that they've necessarily written, but um, kind of like old books and really wholesome books. Uh, and so I picked a few up when I ordered on my last order. One Aubrey has right now, it's called Freddie and Linda, uh, and it's about two little friends and there's a horse on the cover. It's really cute. So she's actually reading that one right now. Um, I also got lions in the barn and then the other book that i picked up from the good and the beautiful is uh gold mountain i don't know if we're all good well, i've got a ton of books i don't know if we're gonna read them all this year but um these are books that we're going to be adding into our library so some of them came from the thrift store and some came from thriftbooks.com got mrs piggle wiggle caddy woodlawn and i loved the movie Caddy Woodlawn when I was a kid. This is from the Dallas Public Library. Um, and it was with this little girl as Caddy Woodlawn and um, I loved it. We used to watch like a lot of like PBS movies. We watched like Girl from the Limberlost and Caddy Woodlawn, Anne of Green Gables. Um, we loved watching public broadcast system movies because they had some really good ones. Um, we also got, uh, Where the Red Fern Grows. My husband and I both love this book. I remember our teacher reading it to us when we, I was in school. I think it was fourth grade. I remember, like, everybody crying. We own the movie. Um, my husband loves this book, and it's kind of something that we really love because he loves dogs, and he's a professional dog trainer, so anyways, that'll be nice to read at some point. Um, we got Mr. Popper's Penguins. We got Island of the Blue Dolphins, and I, again, I remember reading this in school, and um, our class had to do, we had to do like, uh, sorry, I was kicking the bag. We had to do like a video, or we had to present this book in some way, and so my friend and I um, acted this <laughs> book out, and we had my sisters in it, and like, and the neighborhood dog as Rontu the dog. I think that was his name, but I think I still have that video. It's um, kind of comical. Uh, we also got Homer Price, Pippi in the South Seas. I loved Pippi as a kid. 
We have um, Pippi Longstocking up on our bookshelves over there, uh, but I was a huge Pippi fan. We got All, All of a Kind Family. Okay, so I think that is my thrift books haul, and then um, I'll share with you just some thrift store books, some that I just got the other day, and I just... All the books that I'm going to show you now were from the other day, and I just feel like I hit the jackpot. Like, ooh, this is so exciting. I had a feeling to go to the thrift store, and I was so glad I did, because I found a lot of good stuff. Okay, the boxcar children. Y'all, growing up, I had, like, all of these. Um, I loved the boxcar children. And I have put out my feelers to anyone that I know that goes thrift shopping to find me these books uh, because I just legit love them so much and I think Aubrey will too. They are pretty expensive to buy brand new on Amazon. Um, the first four books are like $30 so I'm really hoping to find them thrifted so I don't have to pay retail. Um, next I found Matilda. I am not a big fan of a lot of Roald Dahl books, um, but I did like Matilda growing up, and the movie's kind of cute, too. Um, and I think Aubrey will like this. We're not going to read all of his books. Like I said, there's a few that I'm just not, I'm not into too much, but um, Matilda was one that I did like. Um, I also found these. Y'all have to tell me if you have seen these before, but I found these Little House chapter books. Um, so this is Little House Farm Days, and this is Little House Parties. I've never seen these before. Um, they are an official, like, Little House thing, and I haven't looked through enough to figure out if this is actually stuff that would be in her books or not like if they've just pulled out like all of the parties and put them in one book I'm not really sure but um, either way I thought these were gonna be like super awesome and I was really excited to find them so yeah I also found uh, this magic treehouse book about Titanic Shane and I went to Las Vegas a couple years ago and we actually got to go through the whole Titanic um, exhibit that was at the Luxor Hotel I think it was the Luxor and it was amazing like where you saw like actual pieces of the ship that was like on a drawing this big and in real life it was enormous um, so it's like the official Titanic exhibition and it's just absolutely incredible you walk through parts like you walk through what it looked like to be in third class um, accommodations like down the hall and you saw like this is what the actual representation of their bedrooms looked like it was just amazing and so all things titanic just totally interests me and i thought this book looked kind of interesting um y'all have to tell me about the magic tree house if you guys like those kind of books i'm not really i'm, I'm not actually really sure um but anyways it was about the titanic and i thought um it would help make it come alive for my kids um the next book i found was uh the family under the bridge and i've been really wanting to read this one this is a newberry honor book um and i heard it's really good i did find another boxcar children book i also found i'm so excited to find this this book harriet the spy was one of my all-time favorite books as a kid i loved this book so much harriet the spy is such a good book huge fan we also really loved the fudge books when we were kids my husband and i did um and so i think aubrey might enjoy the fudge books so um they had super fudge there and yeah i think i can get the other ones at the library like fudge mania and double fudge i think i can um anyways i thought i'd add this to our collection I also got this famous book, Oh, The Places You Will Go by Dr. Seuss. And then this was just like the coolest book ever and I'm so excited I found it. It is the storybook treasury of Dick and Jane and friends. Oh my gosh, like, and so it's just all of these like Dick and Jane stories, like easy reading beautiful vintage pictures 
helping your kiddos learn to read. Like, I am so thrilled that I found this book. This one was not a thrift store find. I did purchase this one um, at the bookstore, but it's The Hundred Dresses. And I think this will be one of our first read-alouds when we start back to school. Aubrey's been dying to read this. Um, and we have some other books, like chapter books, that we're reading through right now. And I think this will be one of the first ones that we start when we um, go back to school. So, um, yeah, this I know the story. I haven't read the book, but um, I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. Okay, and then this is the last book. Uh, I was so excited to find this. So this is. The World of Pooh, um, Winnie the Pooh. It's the complete Winnie the Pooh and the House at Pooh Corners stories um, with illustrations in full color. So <clears throat> I am a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. They were like my imaginary friends growing up. It's a classic poo like it's a tag but someone had used it as a bookmark oh my gosh oh, I'm so excited about this um, I love Winnie the Pooh he is like my my friend uh, he we used his he was kind of the inspiration for my son's memorial um, Winnie the Pooh was like I remember watching a video of Winnie the Pooh when I was like three years old um, I he has just always been my special friend and kind of my imaginary friend too um, and so we're gonna read through this as well um, this will be I think part of our morning time and on the back it has like the Winnie the Pooh like original stuffed animals um, I'm just I was so excited so they had several different versions of Winnie the Pooh they had some really old like um, chapter books of Pooh and they had a couple newer versions of Winnie the Pooh books as well one I actually have um, but I could not pass up this book it is just beyond precious and I feel like it was meant for me to find so I was really excited uh, to find that so been a long video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the videos down in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video bye